Hey YouTube, today I'll be showing you how to make a logon system with the database. You start by going to new project and naming it whatever you want, Windows Forms application. Save it wherever you want. I'm using Ultimate, you don't have to. Name it as you please. Uh, I have no idea what I'm going to name. I'm just going to name mine. Login. This tutorial, we're going to cover the login in the database. The next tutorial, part two, we, we will be covering the create account. Start by setting up your form. And I'll tell you, and I'll set up my form now. You go set up. Okay, my form set up. I'm not sure about you. But, um, yeah, just, uh, two text boxes, a button, and the other type, two text boxes and a button. Um, for you, don't worry about this shit, you don't have to make this yet. I don't, ha I haven't added any code at all, but, yeah, this will be the next tutorial on the coding for this. Right now, we're going to start on the database. Go to Solution Explorer, click on your solution, or your project, I mean. Click add and click new item. Click make sure you hit service based database. If you hit local database will be dot SDF, make sure it's service based dot MDF. Rename it whatever you want. Click add. Uh, dialogue should pop up, but mine's kind of slow. Yeah, this might be bad. Yeah, my my computer gets really slow on Ultimate. This dialogue should pop up. Click cancel. You don't want one of those yet. You don't. Ha you haven't added any tables. Double click it. Wait for it to load. Is now you're gonna start editing the database. Okay, for me it's Server Explorer. For you it should be Database Explorer. If you don't have it already up, it should pop up. Click Tables. Bring it down. Click Add New Table. If you have experience with databases, you'd be pretty good at this. Now, most tutorials on these uses IDs. Since I know SQL, I'll teach you how to do it without that. Type in user, data type, text. And make sure it says no allow nulls. Ooh, that's not good. I'll just put username because I don't want those brackets in it. It might mess it up. And then uh, password. Make that text as well. You couldn't code this, but that takes a lot longer. I might make a tutorial on how to um, encode and decode passwords. But for now, I'm good. Um, yeah, just close that. Yeah. Name it users. Even though that's what the database name is, it should work. And now, if you look in your database explorer, it'll go users.mdf tables and users. You just put that down it's got username and password. Now, you don't have any data in it. How are you going to log in? Click show table data. And username put whatever you want. I'm going to put mine as admin and password admin. Now it comes up with an error just click it or like click another or something like that it should be that fine close it it's in there now so you create an account will be in the next tutorial as I said before now click add new data source if it's not there there should be data thing up here somewhere yeah data and click add new data source now make sure it's on database data set uses.mdf you don't need that since there's a setting 
for uh, there's another way to do this with uh, you can send commands to the database through this, but I don't really feel like using that. You can unclick it or click it; doesn't really matter. It's just a setting. It's retrieving your database information. I'm getting sunburned by sitting in a chair. Yeah, this might take a while. Unfortunately, that's just how it is retrieving database information. I'll unpause it when it's ready. Okay, it was about three minutes and it's just popped up. You can either just do that or you can go in there and click that. You gotta have the whole entire users table on this. If you're wondering what this is, we're about to cover it. You shouldn't rename it, it's already got a pretty good name. Wait for that to load. Now this is how you're going to retrieve and update data to the database. I'm not going to uh, make a login form, but you can very well do that. I'll um, just double click it. Now it's going to come up with this. This is good. Click on this or this. For this, add query. Or for this, just add query. I'll add the query and uh, use SQL statements. Select which turns a single value. Now it's going to come up with this. Go to Curie Builder. This is just makes it a bit easier. I don't usually do this. It's going to say something like this. Uh, where it says count as X per 1. Just replace all of that with uh, you, you, select username password. I click execute Curie. See what it does should get all the accounts that you added. You can add as many as you want. Now it's going to get all of them. It, you just want to get the one where it's where uh, where as you see the text box and the other text box where you got to put a parenthesis and username. Now you're, if you're wondering what that is, you don't have to name a text box your name, but this is going to be like a command. So um, yeah. But instead of doing that first, you have to do username. Like. Make sure you do like, because it also won't be compatible with a string. At username. Don't worry, it doesn't come up with an error. You put another parenthesis, A and D with no space in it. Then you put a space. And, uh, you put, um, password like. Username. Wanna wanna make that a password? Okay. Click execute query. Now see, it'll pop up. It'll ask you for the parameters for the command. Let's say we want admin and admin. Yep. It popped up with just our account. Now let's say we put it as a and admin. Nothing pops up. Don't worry about the nulls, it just means nothing. And now, see, it pops up with all your code. Next, name it, uh, create, no, not create, login. Click on next, make sure it says generated select statement. It asks for, like, a fill by thing, you did the wrong thing back at the back. So you just gotta watch that earlier in the tutorial. Um, that takes care of the query. Now we just have to associate it with this. Well, um, you gotta build your solution or your project, whatever you want. This like creates the exe. And see, this pops up login components. Click the users data table and add that. Now you don't really have to care about it. As a matter of fact, don't care about any of that. Just ignore it. Just double click the login button and do login. Wait. If login uh, users ta table adapter one dot um no login 
Now let's go get the name of this stuff. Let's see, it's a uh, text box and text box two for login. See? Your parameters. And you're gonna put no. If not Oh wait, it's not equal to this. That means it's true. That means it's not nothing. It's not nothing. Wait. Instead of putting two clues, put nothing. That's the equivalent to null. So if not that means it's not null, then now this is where you put like form two dot show. There. See? Simple as that. Let's go test it. I hate that tab feature. Start debugging. It's got a build. Pops up. Now, login doesn't do anything. Admin or whatever account you want to log in as. Now I might I'll she says logged in. Okay. Now uh, in the next tutorial I'll teach you how to do this and how to make ranks like admin rank or regular rank stuff like that. Um, I'll also add that to the thing. So that'll be it for now. So see you later, guys, and uh, hope you like part one.